This week, I begin a series of profiles on local high school seniors. Now, these aren't valedictorians or students who are heading off for a college sports program. These are students who are pushing through to graduation against the odds. Tonight, I'd like you to meet Nayeli Lopez. Beneath the quiet, oil-dotted hills of Taft, the excitement of graduation season is building at Taft High. For those of you who might be concerned about bringing your grade up a little bit, uh, but not everyone is adding to the chaos. 6:25 a.m. Like senior Nayeli Lopez. Nayeli is an extremely shy, humble girl. Shy but intense. Totally focused, eyes on the prize, 100%, 100%. This honor student is known for her willingness to work, a skill she has honed to perfection, far away from class. Because when Naomi isn't in school, she's probably here in the fields. Every weekend, every school break, sometimes overnight. On this cold morning, working on irrigation, row after row after row, all with the purpose of providing for her family. I think this is not for me. I want to do better to help my parents to a better future. And that's what drives Naeli to succeed in school. She has seen the toll a lifetime of work like this has taken on her parents. They are tired. Um, they don't have too much time to prepare food. They go to bed like 10 or 11 o'clock. They wake up like 3 o'clock. A difficult life her parents do not want to pass on to their children. It's not like us because we are at the field every day. If they work hard at school, they can have a better job than ours. And working hard is what Naeli does, sometimes studying by candlelight to finish her homework so that others may sleep. She study until 11 or midnight at night, reading books. A lot of tenacity to be able to deal with all the adverse. Principal Bernardo Valenzuela says Nayeli should inspire any student who thinks they're too poor to achieve their dreams. And just because you're in a situation either, whether you're, that you're poor does not mean that you not, cannot become successful. Through the forest and terrace and sand and... It takes perseverance, it takes focus. As a field the workers, we work so hard. De azul, azul from the sun to sun, and we make a little bit of money. And my wish is that she study. She works few hours, but she makes good money. Financially, my parents cannot help me. But In her scholarship appeal, Nayeli makes it clear what she's accomplishing is no small feat for her family. I'm the second youngest of the family and the first person who will graduate from high school and the first who will be attending college. Nayeli definitely will, will do what she's planning to do. A real paycheck will be a way that she can actually um, make her, the world a better place for her parents so that they can maybe smile a little more than they do now. As for what Nayeli wants to pursue in college, she says she plans to attend Taft College in the fall. And just like those who have helped her so much to this point, she wants to become a teacher. Tim?